Let's take a look at Overture 5, a humanized function. Oh, I imported a uh, Corelli trio sonata, the prelude for one that I scanned the PDF in and converted to XML and brought it in. And I just made a few changes here. These, these originally were dotted notes that I uh, I put in uh, rest instead because I want to make sure that I can hear the articulations there. I tried using some staccato instead, but I think this worked a little better. So let's just listen to a little bit of this without any alteration on it. Okay, uh, that's enough. Now, if we want to go and apply this humanize function, uh, the easiest way to do it is to go and put yourself into linear view so I can easily highlight a whole line. And what we want to do is we'll select the, the first measure. We want to select all the notes. Go and uh, click to select all my uh, notes. A shift click at the end and I have all the notes of the whole line selected. You can just humanize pieces of it if you want but we just want to try and figure out what this does right now. So what I can then do is go to the uh, the notes humanize function and it gives me four options here. Randomize the start times with some value, randomize the end times, randomize velocities, and randomize tempos. Now I don't think velocities and tempos are actually working. Uh, these I think are carryover from Overture 4. Uh, they don't seem to apply here and frankly the, we have better ways to use and randomize those with uh, CC functions that we can do later. So we'll just look at the start times and the end times. Now I set this to a really high value so I can kind of hear what's going on. Um, I think it's actually trying to set it to internal clicks or something, not just um, beats per minute. Or it, 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 They don't really say what these values are, um, but at small values, you don't hear a lot of change. So the uh, best thing to do is just experiment till you can hear some change and then maybe back yourself off a little bit. But let's try it with a really big value and you'll be able to hear um, as this line comes in, the, this affects not the length of the note itself, just the start and the end time uh, uh, of the note. So you say OK, and it applied it to the line. Now when I play, OK, you can hear it's all screwed up there because I set way, way, way too much of this function. So we'll just uh, cancel out what we just did. Let's highlight and we'll select our notes again. And we'll go back in there and set this to something more moderate. There we go. Instead of 300, the defaults are very low that they set, but I think they set a default of 10 or something. Well, let's set to, let's set to something like 15. And End times are set to four. That's something that's going to be very difficult uh, to hear. Very, and in, in this string patch we have here, uh, you, you can't hear it as well as if I would have put maybe a synth patch with hard cutoffs there that you can hear. Um, let's see what this sounds like now. You can hear a little bit of shifting here and there. Uh, maybe 15 is a little too much. Um, perhaps if I set it in combination. Let's see what happens if we set it on the second line. And 
let's go and humanize that. Maybe we'll humanize that to 10 and the ends of that to six, say. Let's see what that does with a baseline that's uh, straight. That seems to work better. Uh, they, uh, the randomization kind of evens out uh, uh, over the length of the thing and uh, uh, sounds okay. Um, the extent to which this randomization humanized function is really going to be valuable to you, I think you're just going to have to experiment with. Um, if I try and set a little bit, let's try and set a little bit of it on the, uh, the base in comparison to the other lines, because I want probably want, especially in a Baroque piece, my base to be more straight. But let's go and set this, say, to, uh, I don't know, four and three. Hey, you know what? That kind of uh, evens out a little better, and I, I could hear it's, it is a little more musical, and uh, perhaps this function is useful, but I think you're going to have to tweak it and experiment with it to get it to a point where you might find it really useful. But it's another one of these uh, devices to give you a little more musicality that is better to have than not have. Now to just review uh, if those other two functions on uh, on trying to humanize or randomize velocity or tempo are not supported in this humanized function, we can very easily do that in our piano roll by selecting our uh, velocity, in this case, and the random function. And what I'll do then is I'll, let me reduce the piece down to the full range of the notes. And when I do that, you can see it also shrinks the music up top to try and fit the uh, reduction that I have in the piano roll, which makes sense. So now let's say I want to have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of randomization on the uh, velocity. So I'll drag this and the width of the rectangle there that I've put will kind of define the randomization that I'll have on that velocity. And something like that will make it a little more you know, human sounding. Probably can't hear it too much. Um, it's going to vary from patch to patch uh, where velocity may be triggering on some sounds uh, much greater than others, or velocity would have a greater effect on, on, on some patches than others. And of course, if I wanted this uh, to have a much larger variation, I'd just select something like that, and then I'd get a much bigger uh, variation. And that may or may not produce the results you want, but that's that's an easy way that you can get some randomization a little bit uh, very easily controlled on the uh, velocity or any CC that you might have in here, which is the next thing we can do and go to our tempo. And we can set a little bit of uh, randomization on that as as well. Um, uh, I wish we could uh, scale this a little bit easier, but what I can do is just set a little bit of tempo variation like that. 
it's probably not enough for you to hear things that perceptibly, but enough to give a little more musicality. For Baroque music, which uh, doesn't have a lot of uh, rubato in it, uh, that actually could be very useful for me to get a nice, uh, a nice sound. Now, of course, the test is this is really, really doing something. We can try and do something stupid like um, randomize a much greater uh, range on our tempo, something like that. And now, when we play, we should get just something totally unacceptable. <laughs> Okay, so at least I kind of uh, proved to myself that the uh, the tempo is uh, following those l little indications, and we can in fact uh, randomize it slightly to give us the humanized function that it does not seem to be supported yet, uh, though it says so in the uh, in the humanized option. Though the manual does say, to be honest, uh, that it only affects the start and the end offsets of the notes. <laughs> 